In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use a custom field to trigger the creation of leads or deals. I've had lots of clients come to me and say, hey, I have a huge contact database in Pipedrive. I've put all my people in there, but I now need to convert those into deals. How do I do it? If you're doing it manually, it's going to take you forever. You have to open up the person, then go to add new deal or add new lead um, and go through the flow one by one by one. If you wanna do this via automation, all you need to do is create your workflow automation, create a custom field to trigger that automation, and then you'll be able to create a bunch of these at one time. So here I'm going to select the ones that I want to create. So I've got uh, seven or so selected here, and then I'm gonna to go to my custom field on the right-hand side. I'm gonna edit the current value to the value that is triggering this automation, and I'm gonna click edit seven persons. Uh, before I do that, my leads inbox here is blank. So I'm going to confirm this and within about 20 seconds, I should have all of those leads in my leads inbox. So I'm going to refresh the data here. And you see, I now have those seven leads that have been converted to leads from people. As a note, there is a limit to how many workflow automations you can run at a time. So for instance, don't try to do 2000 all at once, but if you do them in batches of 50 to 100, uh, you should get them all into your leads inbox or converted to deals through this hack. So this is what the automation can look like kind of in its most basic form. You can add additional things to it, like creating activities, um, or if you're creating deals, customize what stage those deals will end up in. Uh, but the core of the automation is uh, the trigger will be when a person is updated. And then your condition is whatever that custom field you created has changed to and then whatever input you're going to change that field to. And then if you're doing leads, you're going to create a lead linked with the person. Um, and then you're going to at minimum select these fields. So you make sure you link the organization that the person was linked to also to that lead. And then you also have the ownership. Uh, I just tied it so that it's the same owner as the person will own the lead, um, but you can do that however you see fit. And then you can also customize the lead title. I chose to use fields from the person information, um, but you can do this however you'd like.